Hey, what's going on guys? Apple Pie here, back with another awesome video for you guys today. Before we get into this, if you guys did not see my last video on putting the Nano QX on the new frame from Micro Heli Warhouse, go check that out. I just finished recording that video, so now I'm gonna do another one. Get subscribed if you guys aren't already, and... Let's hop into this. So, if you guys don't know what a tiny loop is, it's basically a blade induction FPV from Jesse Perkins. He kind of remade that and renamed it. So, um, so this is a stock blade induction FPV. No modifications, except the camera mount is not that other uh, canopy. This one is from tinyloop.com. It's 3D printed. This thing has a 14,000 kV motor stock. 18,000. That's what I'm putting in it right now. And they had this frame. This is the Ishin Z010 frame. This is the knockoff of it. And I was racing this, and of course the camera is not a high quality camera. There's there's not that good bandwidth with the transmitter, so it wasn't working very well. So there were A through D main. No, there's an F main. So that's six or seven heats. And I was in the C main. So that was basically in the third from highest heat. So we did six qualifying rounds. And four of those, I got a DNF because it, there was no signal coming to my goggles from the, from the camera. And so from the first two of winning first, that put me in the third main. The third highest main. So I, mean, I thought I was pretty good. Zipping around track and, you know, weighs 21.5 grams. I have not weighed this one, but by the end of the video, I'll get a scale and weigh it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 18,000 kV motors from Bold Clash. And I'm going to switch to the Ishin's E010 frame. So now let's get started. First, you got to find the correct orientation of your Ishin uh, frame. So with the Ishin frame, it's a little different. The way you got to kind of put your motor in. Because it's a little harder to put them in. They're a little stronger. And then kind of guide it in there. Now, we got to unscrew the two screws. And then there's one in the front underneath the camera. Uh, if you have the stock Tiny Whoop or the stock in Ductrix FPV, there's going to be a screw back here. But it's on top of the canopy. So, so this, you got to stick your screwdriver in inside of there and take it out so let's just unscrew this one I recommend that you pick it up to do that so that you don't break the frame I've already broken one of these frames and this one I broke one strut so you want to keep the screws separate from if you have any other screws from any other different helicopter these ones are the same across all the helicopters so you'll be fine when i put this frame on this is actually my second time doing this i did it to my little brother there we go i got screwed in and you gotta kind of adjust the other two so and then on the bottom one of these motor points this one right here is a little harder to get in so i'm gonna do that one first so what i do is i kind of just twist these motor wires so that they'll take up a little bit of their own slack and then you kind of just gotta shove them in slots this one was the one we were working on yesterday and i kind of went ahead on this one to show you what it looks like there's no props on it so this one has the regular duck tricks camera on it but i took it out of this stock canopy because that weighs a lot more than this other 3d printed canopy because it's just like the bare mounts to hold it on and so this one has the stock motors. And then this one, I gotta be careful because it doesn't have any screws on the bottom. This one has the 18,000 kV motors in it. Right here, as you can see, the wires are different from the stock wires. So this camera is in one of the tiny whoop mounts for this camera. On this camera is the 10 degree mount. So it's for a little bit slower flying. So with the 18,000 kV motors that you're putting in this thing, you're, you're going to be flying at a much faster speed. So you're going to need higher, uh, higher tilt. So you just kind of, if you guys have taken apart the canopy, and you guys know there's screws on here. So these two screws right here, you'll still be using. They're, they're the same width apart. 
if you guys are switching frames and it's the same with the part anyway. So all you guys gotta do is just screw them in. Don't tighten it too tight because then you're gonna risk snapping it, but tighten it so it's snug. All we gotta do is plug in the camera. There we go. That is it for this build. Um, there's one more thing that you guys have to do before you can actually start flying, and that is modify the battery tray. So with this battery tray, it is meant for a fatter battery than the normal battery because these batteries are longer and they're skinnier and so they're not going to work with this so you're either going to have to cut a little groove in the front yeah, there you're gonna have to cut a little groove in there or you guys can put foam in there or you just can completely cut these plates off and just use rubber band yep hope you guys have enjoyed please rate comment and subscribe let me know if there are more videos that you guys want me to make like this peace out